Hello, how are you doing? My name is Steve Edwards and welcome to June's video blog. So today we're going to talk about TPE reviews. Those are Medicare reviews and TPE stands for Targeted Probe and Education. And what they're looking for right now is the use by clinics of the KX modifier. Um, obviously, it's, it's June now, so a lot of your Medicare recipients are going to be hitting their caps. Let's review the caps real quick. So they combine speech and PT at a cap of $2,230, and OT has its own cap of $2,230. So if your clinic uses the KX modifier, expect to be audited. Um, now, that doesn't mean anything bad. These TPE reviews are not a bad thing unless you're not substantiating medical necessity inside of your notes. If you are not uh, saying why that patient needs additional services above that soft cap of $2,230, then you might have an issue. Uh, you should be able to, when you, uh, when Medicare calls you and says, hey, you're going to be audited, and that's even before you get the letter, uh, expect the letter about a week later. Um, that should, one, not surprise you, uh, and you should feel confident that you yourself and that you have trained your clinic to make sure that you are documenting the use of the KX modifier. Uh, now you do not, and we have, and inside of this newsletter, you have everything that you need to read about the KX modifier as it relates to CMS and Medicare. So please read that. Uh, but there is no mandate that you have to have um, inside of your note. I'm using the KX modifier because uh, I think it's a good to have and it's an awareness, but there is uh, nothing in there. And it also, it doesn't mandate that you get the PCP to sign a new plan of care um, that has the KX modifier on it. That is not required, but again, they're both good to have. If you're going to be audited because you are using the KX modifier, having supporting documentation for medical necessity inside of your note is what they require. Uh, so please, um, if you are audited, you do receive that uh, notification that you're gonna be receiving a packet. They usually give you 20 to 40 patients, uh, date, excuse me, 20 to 40 dates of service, and it might encompass 10, 12 patients. Um, call me. Let's talk about it. Uh, we, EEP, always does an audit before you even send it out. Uh, I think, you, I believe you have 45 days to do it. So uh, EEP will pull ledgers. We will audit everything before you even, from an administrative standpoint, we will audit it before you even send it to Medicare. And uh, obviously you as a clinic director or an owner, we would ask that you read the notes from a clinical aspect. So EEP will do the administrational aspect and you will do the clinical aspect. So you're going to know how your audit has gone uh, before you even send out that audit to Medicare. So, so please don't get uh, anxiety or, or anything like that as it relates, oh, we're getting audited you should feel very confident uh, because these are discussions that we've had in the past about the KX modifier and making sure that you have documentation supporting medical necessity. I've pulled it uh, you know, even farther, getting a plan of care signed by the doctor that you're using the KX. And then verbiage, we are using the KX because. Again, those are great things to have but they're not required under CMS guidelines. So hopefully that gives you some, uh, some comfort that you know, uh, if you're getting audited, uh, the, the, the sky's not falling. Um, this makes sure that, and I'm sure that you do all the time for any payer, that your notes and documentation support what you're doing. Your notes support your CPT code that you are billing, and your notes support the diagnosis code that you're billing. If that patient, if you can sit back and say, hey, that patient um, had a stroke and they need X, Y, and Z, that should give you comfort that, hey, they need the KX modifier. The KX modifier is there because it's needed. Um, but if somebody, you know, they have arm pain, 
um, and you're using the KX modifier come July, August, September, October, November, um, that might be a, bit, a little bit different. You might not be able to substantiate medical necessity uh, because somebody has some uh, joint pain. So um, hopefully that helps you. Uh, last thing I wanted to, to do is thank everybody uh, in the EEP community. You know, I go on Facebook, uh, Florida Private Practice, and there's a lot of people on there that say, hey, you know, do you know a billing agency? And so many people um, just support EEP and just uh, announce, hey, call Steve at EEP. I just wanted to, to thank you for your kind words, uh, for your support. Um, so again, thank you uh, for the relationship that we have with EEP and your clinic. Uh, may it prosper forever and uh, have a great summer. I will talk to you in July. Have a good day.